Days after handing up an indictment against the former president, there are new concerns for safety after grand jury members in Georgia were doxxed and threatened. Anytime somebody's uh, safety is threatened is serious. Legal experts argue this was to be expected, given Trump's words online and on air. I think they're sick people and they have no idea the anger they cause. Trump's claims of political persecution rile up his supporters. A federal judge in Washington received a racist and harassing voicemail, leaving a Texas woman to face charges. Now Trump's comments taking aim at investigators and even witnesses could jeopardize the former president's freedom ahead of his trial in Georgia. Georgia has a law that says bail is absolutely not appropriate if the defendant is going to intimidate witnesses. Even with a surrender date approaching, Trump is still testing the waters. He'd promised to release his own report on voter fraud, but back down on advice from his lawyers, highlighting just how surreal this has become. History doesn't have a lot to teach us because we're in a, a situation that we haven't been in before. With trials cluttering up the campaign calendar, Trump is pushing for delays. In the Washington case, his team is looking for a 2026 trial start date, saying they should get two years like investigators took. While in Georgia, it's a bid to move the case into the federal system. That person bears the burden of proof, however, to indicate how their actions were within their federal job duties. I think there is huge value in the case being heard by the citizens of the county that were most affected. Trump is also trying to find delays in the court of public opinion, reportedly pulling out of the upcoming Republican debate, avoiding questions on his indictments while trying to dodge consequences. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.